Okay. Rob, it's all in your hands, brother. Cool, man. Well, I uh, I just um, I'm recording it in case we, you know, you guys want to show it to somebody else or something. Like you mentioned, somebody else you might want to want to see the presentation. I I hit record so we can send it to them if you want to. There you go. Okay, great, great. Cool. great. Okay. So you guys, any of your questions will be recorded too, so you guys can, you know, ask away, stop me at any point that you want to. So just to give you a little bit of background, you know, we're an international mobile communication provider. We do um, any kind of text messaging campaign, mobile coupons, mobile websites, apps, email, it really any kind of loyalty or lead generation kind of campaigns, um, really mobile first strategies that are kind of revolutionary in the space because, you know, we go to every kind of inbound, outbound marketing uh, summit and strategy clinics and all these things and try to learn about, you know, and we've been doing this for more than 10 years, working with companies on how do you generate more business? How do you drive more leads? How do you get more uh, transactions from people that already, you know, already buy from you and like you and trust you? And so with any business, we can usually look at their business model and figure out those two items, how to get their current customers to buy from them more often and spend more money over an annual basis. And second, how to generate new business and, and bring in new customers. And so that's really our focus. And we do that, you know, typically with mo what we call mobile first, you know, a, a text message, mobile first strategy to build mobile databases and then turn around and, and maybe capture email and maybe work on email marketing campaigns as well. Um, we know uh, that when a text message is sent out, that it's got a 98% overall open rate. Uh, that I mean, literally, you send a text message out, everybody opens it, 95% within five minutes. So if a truck is going to show up in a particular area and is able to send a text message out to 500 people in that area and say, hey, we're here today, you know, stop by and here's a coupon, um, the redemption rates, the open rates on that coupon are higher than anything else that you could ever do, way higher than email or, you know, way higher than something you could do in social media or anything like that more people text message than use any other kind of technology out there. And, you know, pretty much everybody does it. So it's, it's, uh, you know, pretty easy to, uh, make these campaigns happen and make them really powerful. Um, mobile coupons get more redemption rates than any other kind of, uh, campaign or any other kind of coupon. So let's talk about how it works real quick. Okay. So, I think you guys are mainly going like mobile trucks now, right? You don't have the, um, Correct. Don't are you are you rid of all your brick and mortar or you still have some? Correct. No, there was just one that was kind of a a, a template that was started in Atlanta that's uh, since been sold off. Okay. Yeah, no big deal. I was just on the phone with one of my buddies from Atlanta. Actually, we were talking about uh, Atlanta, but I'm I'm there quite a bit actually. Is that where yeah. you guys are from? Uh, Cam's from Atlanta. I'm I'm in Birmingham. John's in Louisiana, and Garrett's here in Birmingham. Brandon's in Denver. Oh yeah, got mixed bag here. I was in Louisiana just a little while ago, or a few months ago, with uh, Jana King. You guys know Jana King? Yep. I'm glad you made it out okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. They're they're a good group of people. Huge company. Um. Okay. So how does it work? So there's two main ways to start a campaign, and, and we're going to talk about loyalty marketing first. So somebody comes up to a truck, and they order their they order their whatever they're ordering. All you do is hand them a, a tablet or a mobile phone, um, or they could do it from their own mobile phone, but they type their mobile number into a tablet. They can also do it from point of sale signage. So you could hand them a little card with the receipt that says, hey, get a dollar off next time you come in, you know, text repeat to 72727, for instance, right? So they can initiate by either sending a text message in or typing their mobile number in a tablet or a mobile phone, either way. And so while you're making their, uh, you know, their Italian ice cream, or I guess that's what you call it, their Italian ice, their gelato, mm -hmm. then you are right then, while they're standing there waiting is when you engage them to go ahead and get their coupon for next time. You can do a coupon for this visit if you want to, and that's really effective. 
like sometimes you have something that you, a new item, and you want people to try it. And so they're ordering XYZ. And you say, hey, we're actually, we want you to try our new coffee today. We've got a coupon for a free one. Do you want it? And they're like, sure. And you go, cool. So type your mobile number in the tablet here. You'll get a coupon for free coffee this visit. And they type their mobile number in the tablet. Instantly, they get a text message for a free coffee. You redeem it, and you give them the free small coffee or whatever. But you've opted them into the database. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me show it to you real quick, okay? So why we were talking there at the beginning, I built this little tablet landing page. This is made for a tablet, but it could be done from anything really. You know, when you have it on a tablet or a small screen, you know, it fits the screen really well. And so all the person does, you know, like that's like kind of like a tablet size right there, right? And all the person does is uh, sit there and type their mobile number right there and the phone number pops up and you can type your mobile number in. Give me your mobile numbers real quick. Whoever wants to go first. Uh, 423-593-4141. Okay, and they type in their number, they hit submit and get coupon. And then it says thanks, she'll be receiving a text shortly. Next person. Seven two zero nine three five or nine three five, sorry. Seven four nine seven. I heard it. Anybody else? Uh three three seven. I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Garrett. Go ahead, 337. <laughs> 501-9131. Okay, next. Uh, 205-441. Okay, anybody else? Cam, are you still on? Yeah, he gave yeah, me I'm there, but I get the gist. I don't need another text on my phone. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, you got to see it, Cam. You can. It's not like you're going to get a bunch of them. This is just a demo. 770-845-4060. Okay, because there's actually two things you're going to see here. So... Start spamming them. <laughs> yeah, I will. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start sending them a whole bunch of messages. So, <laughs> so whether <laughs> he'll be all mad at Everybody me. Everybody text Cam right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's so, gang text Cam. Did everybody get the number? <laughs> so somebody. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so somebody walks up. They're ordering. While they're waiting for it, they type their mobile number in the tablet or they text in, either way. And it's really easy. I mean, people really like the tablet and it's a really great way. So, you know, you, you imagine you're doing 120 transactions a day. By handing everybody a tablet, you can get 65 people a day into your database. You know, if you're in one location for, you know, a few, uh, you know, if, you're, if you do this for a few months, let's say 120 days, You've already got you know seven thousand people in a database that you can send out messages to when you show up at different locations and let them know you're there. Um, so then those people get a text message back. Actually, in this circumstance, I sent two text messages. Right, the first one uh, has it says dollar off your next visit, whatever. Click here to redeem. So click that first link in the text message. Do you guys do that yet? Yes. Just did. <clears throat> and it takes you to this page, you know, it's got whatever logo you want or whatever, you know, item that you're that you want to show. It says what the offer is, it has an expiration date on it. It can have a terms and conditions page, like not valid with other offers or, you know, valid only with purchase of, you know, two uh Italian ice or more or whatever. 
Um, it could have a contact page, which you know, and it could have a share page. Um, the, go ahead and hit redeem on that coupon. And so, as someone, let's say we give them a offer for next visit, so it's a dollar off, or you know, it could be something really good, like a free Italian ice next time they come in. But that free Italian ice comes with the purchase of an Italian ice and a drink, right? So it's enough with purchase offer that, you know, but it's a very great sounding offer. You know, it's a free Italian ice that it gets a lot of people to do it. And it's valid for like two weeks. So they have to come back. Is and that a valid it. barcode? Um, that's just, a, I made up a barcode, right? No, you I'm, don't have I'm asking, are you sending out valid barcodes? Or are you sending out just uh, ghost barcodes? Well, it's whatever... If you guys have a point of sale system that allows a barcode to be accepted, um, then you just put in what you want the barcode to be, and it generates it for you. Um, okay. If you, you know, or it's just a coupon code, like, you know, this one is like MG27, you know, whatever. I just made one up real fast. So... Okay. So it can be valid, or it can be just ghost, either way. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever you want it to be. All right. Our system tracks the redemptions, though. So somebody comes back in, it works like Groupon. It's kind of like creating your own Groupons, but without having to pay Groupon, right? You send out an offer to people and you say, you know, here's your coupon. They walk up to the truck, they show their, and they say, hey, I got a coupon for a free one with the purchase of another one and a drink. And he's like, cool, show the coupon. They show it, they hit redeem, they hit OK. It redeems it. They can't use it again. So it takes it okay. off their phone, right? They can't get that coupon again. Um, it shows the timestamp, the phone number, the coupon code, whatever it is. And, uh, you know, of course, there's a contact page if you want that. There's a share button. Now, I'll talk about the share button in a minute, what people can do with that. But the idea is, of course, that now they're in the database. So... You could actually create a database that's different for every area that you go to. Let's say you got one downtown location you go to, and you go to that three times a week. Well, you could create one database of just your downtown people, right? And then you go to another location, and you have a different uh, kiosk page or a different landing page and a different keyword. And that other location, which is in the suburbs, you build a different database of those people in the suburbs. That way, when you show up there, you send a message out and you say, hey, we're, you know, at the corner of Main and 15th Street, swing on down today and, and here's a coupon, right? And now those people know you're there, they can come in, you send another message out, you know, to the other people when you show up downtown, you send another message when you show up at the third location to just those people that come to that location, right? So does that make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, how do you how do you tell, you know, where they're from besides their phone number? I guess is it when they join? Do you do you get some kind of a marker or you know GPS in the sense that it says it's, that's where they're from, or is it just from that day you know you're downtown? You guys saw me create one uh, in the application earlier when we were first mm-hmm. on, and what you basically do is you go in here and you create a coupon, and you create it for each area that you're in. So if I created one that was Repeachy downtown, then I would make it, you know, whatever the keyword was, and then I would create this offer. And I won't go through and do the whole thing, but you get the idea. Yeah. So I create, I create the offer, I put in the logo, whatever. Now, I use this one for when I'm downtown. So if I'm handing people a card that says text whatever to 72727, then they text this word, and then they go into the downtown database, and it's denoted by downtown. And then when I go to send a message to those people, I go in and do a coupon blast, and I create the coupon blast, and this is, you know downtown special whatever and i go in and you know we are at the corner of 
15th in Maine. Come see us for a free ionized today with purchase. Click here to redeem, and then they have the coupon. Now we, you know, schedule this to be sent. So we go to save and schedule, and then we select just the downtown group that we want to send it to. We, we say when we want to send it, and then we go down and pick which group we want to send it to. And in this case, we would send it just to the downtown group. Make sense? Yeah. yeah. So you're actually um, building your database for each location that you're at based on, um, you know, based on the... Uh, uh, based on the location, so okay. You know, so just for clarification, if they have done it once, and uh, we we would have to offer another coupon for another uh, promotion in order for those that have already done it to participate. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, yeah, because you're building a database every single day, right? So, like, we you know we're at one location. We're there three times a week. We build a database of that one location every time we're there. You know, three days a week, we get, you know, 35 people in our database. Um, so we're building 105 people per week. Over the course of, you know, the next 10 weeks, we've got 1,000 people in our database from that location. Then, What I'm asking, Rob, is if, if in other words, if we've got there, they, they, the first week we went, we got – five people and when we go we, in other words they're they're, they're going to redeem if we do it, it you know at the event or at the stop they, they'll redeem that coupon and if we go back we have to offer another program for those five to be able to redeem something or if we use the same then they can't redeem is that right yeah, so words, I'm talking about duplication of, of the redemption. Yeah, so I mean you're going to create different offers all the time. Okay. Yeah. So people that people that opt in at the point of sale when they walk up to the, you know, to the truck or whatever and they type their mobile number in the tablet or they text in, they get an offer either valid today or valid for next time they come in. But usually you put an expiration date of maybe a couple weeks on it, right? Over the course of a few months, you've got lots of people that have opted in. Now you're able to send them out different offers on, for different items over the course of time. And so, yeah, you're constantly sending them, you know, new offers. And those are new campaigns. So it's like creating a new coupon or, or a new reminder. Okay. It doesn't always have to be a coupon either. I mean, you know, sometimes it might just be, Hey, check out some of our new menu items. We're here today. Come see us, right? Yeah. So if you have a truck route, uh, I could see that being very helpful in scheduling that out. Another thing that uh, you can do. Why, why would it? Wait, wait just a second, Rob. Sure. Why would it necessarily just be a truck? I mean, you know, if if oh, you're yeah. doing what you're doing, uh, then you know, why wouldn't you want to just have them in your database regardless of whether it's a truck or a trailer mm -hmm. oh it, yeah i just i'm just saying truck but i mean truck or trailer just yeah. yeah that doesn't i mean each location each i don't know what you call me, i could see it being a good tool with the truck being something that you uh you know, you're trying to let people know where you're going to be, if it's changing on a constant basis or not. I mean, if you've got a pretty steady route, you could still, you know, give those people a heads up and give them a, give them a, more of a five-day-a-week incentive to know where you're at. And so, Brandon, if you're, going to do, if you're going to do another festival and you're going to be there, you want to, if people just happen to be there, you, if you had these numbers, you would broadcast it out, and they're going to look you up. Uh, oh yeah, you know, oh yeah, know, definitely. If they know you're there, so I think it would it would be valuable on both. I think you're right. It has more value for the for the truck platform than the trailer platform. But uh, you know, 
I see it as a value there, or am I wrong? Uh, what's yeah, the, I mean, I what's the difference festival. between a truck and trailer? The trailer generally does festivals and events, special events. The truck can establish a daily route or every other day route or once a week route or something like that and be at a certain, you know, we're, we're going to the trucks, but there are several. Well, Brandon happens to be one of the franchisees that has a trailer. Sure. And, yeah. Uh, so that, that you know, we, we, but I see it as value to both, but maybe I'm not looking at it in the right way. Well, well I, know, I know that at the, at the festival and fairs, the only problem is, is that, you know, there's such a high cost to entry into those things that, you know, giving free time ice at those festivals or, or providing uh, a discount in, a, in in such a high-paced atmosphere could be a little crazy, you know, if uh, cause we'll have lines of 40, 50 people. Um, and so if they're all pulling their phones out and then getting a dollar off or this or that, um, it's hard to recapture those sales if they don't know where I'm going to – I mean, even if I tell them where I'm going to be next week at another festival – I mean, I just kind of see that on a you know on a daily platform like a truck. I could be, you know, we're going to be on downtown every Tuesday and Thursday is our goal. Um, so you know, being able to capture the downtown audience and give them a dollar off each time, I don't care, whatever, because at least it gets that line going, hopefully, and then other people just follow suit, and then you kind of build a very loyal database of uh, customers down there that are, you know. Appreciative of the notice at the same time as getting a deal out of it. It's where the festivals and fairs would be good to get those people in your database, but maybe it would just be for the trailer. I would say it would have to be, you know, text your peaches to seven two seven two seven um, for for uh, for future promotions or offers, kind of a thing. In other words, give them a lead to to. To want, you know, that you give that you'll give them something later, but just not at a festival in the trailer. Cause, yeah, you don't have to do, even if you do yeah. a point of sale campaign, you don't have to give them a discount today. You give them one yeah, for the exactly. future, right? Yeah, yeah. And so even if you're at a festival and you've got a big line, then you put this big sign right above the, you know, right why they're waiting in line, right? Because you know you're going to have these big lines. Now they're standing there, they're using their phone while they're waiting in line anyway. They they text in and they've got a, a coupon for next time they come. It's not valid today, yeah, exactly. right? Yeah. So then you've got a database of those people. Now next time you're in that area, you know, or you have another festival close, you can text message them and remind them you're going to be there and give them an offer to come back by. You know. Mhm. What do you too, think, Brandon? <laughs> if it was a two day or a three day event. Uh, festival, you know, uh, I don't know how many of yeah. those you work, but they might come back tomorrow and want to come back and redeem. Would that bog you down if they were to come up and want to redeem tomorrow? No. Oh, no. I mean, I think it's definitely, you know, definitely a good way to, again, to capture those numbers and then be able to, you know, send them some, uh, you know, some an offer. I think, like you said, for the future, we kind of uh, the key. I think you got to keep in mind, too, the offer does not necessarily have to be a free Italian ice. It can be an upgrade yeah. to a gelato, a gelati for, you know, yeah. the price of an Italian ice, that, those type things. So it doesn't necessarily always have to be given something away. It's more of a communication tool the way I see yeah. it. I, you know. Exactly. Right. And, uh, okay, so then, you know, there's other things that you can do. Like, say somebody comes in. And they text in, you know, while they're waiting in line or whatever. You know, they're buying something. Um, you can give them another text message five minutes later when they finished eating. And you can say, hey, what did you think of your, uh, you know, what did you think of your Rapichis? Um Click here and write on our Facebook wall and tell us what you think and be entered to win, you know, free Italian ice for a year or something. And then those people get a text message right on their phone with a link right to your Facebook page and they click through to your Facebook page and now they write on your wall or send a, you know, a picture of themselves in or whatever you tell them to do. And now you take, you know, you do that for a whole year and lots of people written on your wall. The thing is when other people write on your wall, they, their friends see that. 
and then now the reputation is building, right? And you've got a conversation going on social media. That's it's big. really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. So, you know, kind of that follow-up text message following a, a uh, you know, right after they ate something and then asking them to write on your wall and tell us what you thought of it is a great way to get that conversation started. And then you can respond back yeah, to them and, you know, that kind of stuff. That's cool. So, you know, the just the simple math of it is, you know, like I showed you, you can build up a thousand people in one area in your database real easy. And then you come back to that area, you send a text message out to those thousand people, and it might be 2,000, it might be 3,000, you know, it depends on how long, you know, you're doing this over time, right? You're a year, two years, whatever. And just for easy math, you send a message to a thousand people. Well, a lot of times we get, you know, anywhere from one and a half to 5% response rate when you send a message out if it's targeted and got a good offer on it. You know, let's say we get, you know, 3% of people that respond. Well, that's 30 extra people that come in and get in line and buy from you that you otherwise wouldn't have had or 30 extra transactions that day. 30 extra transactions times your, you know, average transaction of, you know, I don't know what it is, 10 bucks or something, you know, most people buy two probably or something like that. You know, you're producing $300 of gross top line revenue just from sending a text message out. And plus you're starting a behavior, you know, you're starting people to really get used to it and like it. And it's a great snack. And, uh, you know, the investment to send that coupon out to those thousand people, 1.5 cents per text message or about $15 per thousand. Right. So, it's really a great return on investment. Better than, you know, it's like, hey, if I, you know, would you pull $15 out of your wallet right now if I was going to spend $300 at your location right now? Yeah. All right. So, you know, scaled up, you do that over the course of time. You've got a bunch of different locations building up people every single day into their database. You get a big database of, you know, 75 or 100,000 people in there. You're sending out a few promotions per month. You're driving thousands of extra transactions every month. And, you know, that can equate to lots of additional monthly revenue because you're bringing in lots of extra transactions you otherwise wouldn't have had. And that just kind of shows the coupons again. Okay, social sharing. Now, let's say that one of your trucks or trailers, you know, has a slow day and they've got people that are coming up, you know, but it's like, you know, just one at a time and, you know, it's not, they're not a whole bunch of business going on, right? But what you can do is you can give a coupon to somebody right then after they bought their stuff and they get it right there on their phone and you stand there and tell them, hey, I'll give you this free uh, for next time you come in, this bonus coupon, if you'll share that coupon I just gave you on social media. And all you got to do is click share on your coupon. So they've got that. I lost the audio there, Rob. Yeah. I guess he'll realize it once he asks a question and nobody answers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say you did that just 10 times in one day, right? 10 times in one day that you share that, that you know, they share that, that's 220 uh, people times 10 or 2,200 people that saw your coupon on social media for free. You just incentivize your customers to share the coupon with their friends, you know, just by telling them to do it. Now that would only work on a slow day, right? Okay. I don't know if you guys ever do any, do you ever do any print ads or any kind of other traditional marketing, so to speak? Put up uh, still more in the past now. Say that again. We have seldom done that in the past, our marketing campaign moving forward, May. Yeah, I mean, if you ever do, there's some, what we, we talk about, like, let's say you got a billboard display 
by where your trucks normally are. Or you've got a display on a flyer about the event, you know, before people show up to the event and something like that. Instead of doing like, you know, a print coupon, like a regular print coupon, you make it mobilized. You add this engagement right to the front of it that says, you know, text or peaches to 72727. Then all of a sudden you got those people in a database. Now when you show up, you send a text message to all those leads because those are people that haven't ever come before. And you say, hey, we're here. Come in and use your coupon, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a great way to add power to what you would call traditional marketing. You know, your print or your outdoor display or your, you know, you got a little, you know, four-inch advertisement in a brochure because you did some sponsorship or something. You know, you add a nice big text engagement to it, and then all of a sudden you're building a database off of that piece. You're actually making that piece valuable because now you've got a database of people that said, I'm interested in Italian ice, you know. So this is just some other examples. You can do it definitely off of your website if you wanted to. Uh, a lot of people do like, you know, print this coupon off. But a lot of times when we're looking at your website, we're looking at it from a tablet or a mobile phone or something. And you can't, you're not hooked up to a network printer. So instead of printing the coupon, you just type your mobile number in right off the website and then it sends you the coupon right to your phone plus it opts you in. All right, so that's a, that's a great thing to do too. So take a look back at the text message that I sent you again. You can click that second, there, I sent a second text message as well. So like in that first text message you got, it said, here's your coupon. But there was a second text message that said, click here to see our mobile site or look at our menu, right? Did you click that? Yes. And we just built a quick little demo mobile site for you. So I can show that to you. So like each franchisee, for instance, um, could have their own little mobile site. And then when they logged in, they could go to tools and go to mobile websites. And then they could look at their mobile website, which I've got a lot of them, so it takes a minute. And then they can go in and edit it. Like if they want to, they added a menu item, or they've got different prices, or they want to say where we're going to be this week, right? Like instead of locations, they say where we're, you know, our location this week. And they can put down where they're going to be. And then they can send that out to people, and people can click on it and then map themselves right to the location. Does that make sense? Yep. So really, every single franchisee could have their own version of this, and they can modify it, you know, real easily. So like if you want to change something on it, I'll just click on the first page here. They want to change this picture. All they do is click on it, you know, delete it, and then they can upload a different picture just by clicking the picture button, you know, choose the file, uh, you know, pick whatever image they want, send it to the server, and hit OK. And I just added that picture in there, right? Or if they want to change some copy, you know, we will be at... You know, they type, just type in the information they want. They can highlight it, bold it, italicize it, change the size of it. I mean, it's really easy to make modifications of this. And they hit save, and it goes live on, the, on their mobile site right now. And they can send that link out to everybody in their database. So all they do is copy that link and then go into the marketing platform. And then, you know, blast a message out to everybody and say, you know, click this link. There's no doubt, Rob, you know, that, the, that what this can do is incredible. I guess what concerns me or, or what type of uh, support does your company give for people that are just getting started in this and, and obviously it's much more difficult to navigate through the, the components of what you showed us this morning uh, first time. So what, 
what type of support do they have initially to to be able to understand how to do all these things? Well, we'll uh, I mean, we can get everybody on group training calls and, you know, on the web kind of like this and teach them real easily how to log in and, you know, create a campaign or whatever. But we can also pre-build all the campaigns for everybody so they're already there and they can just use them. Um, you know, or people can just email in and say, hey, I want to send this message out. And then we'll send the message out for them. So they don't even ever have to log in if they don't want to. Um, you know, we'll support it 100%. Or, you know, they can, uh, uh, you know, we'll support it 100%. They can just email in or they can log in and do it themselves and we'll train them how to do it. And they can also call the support line anytime they want and say, hey, I need some help. And somebody will jump on and help them real quick and get their campaign launched. So, but once you get used to it, it's really pretty easy. There's a lot of tools in here. There's a lot of different things, but they won't have, act, like this is a lot of different stuff, but they're not going to see all this stuff. This is my master account, right? They're really only going to have uh, mobile websites, kiosk creator, and a marketing platform where they send the text messages. That's it. And, you know, so they're not going it, to, it's not as confusing as maybe it looks, but, I mean, the first time it obviously is, but we're going to train them on how to use it. Now, does it have the ability to copy the so the templates? Like, if we created a repeat cheese template for all the franchisees, and then it said repeat cheese, and then replace the rest of the name. Like mine would be repeat cheese of tiny ice and gelato of Denver. Let's say. I mean, is that that way the backgrounds in, the logos are in, the you know the the mobile site is generally made with all the history and all the other stuff oh, yeah. that we want to kind of. Just, the franchise in so that way they don't have to build that. It would just be them putting a little personal touch. Exactly. That's exactly what we would do. Yeah. And then I mean does the I guess the, the site that you're using to do the campaigns, do you I mean do you have a an app or something? Or is it all just it's all web you know, just you have to log in through online through on the web. Yeah, this is a this is a web tool. I mean it works you know, fine off of a regular desktop machine, um, laptop, tablet, but um, it, this doesn't really work all that well off of a mobile phone because yeah. it is, you know, it's got a lot of stuff going on with it. Um, but people certainly could email in off their mobile phone and say, hey, I want to send this message out, and then we would do it for them, you know. Yeah. Okay, so getting back to the cost, you said 1.5 cents per text. Is that kind of a flat rate type cost? Is there any other costs associated, or how does that work? Um, yeah, well, it depends on if you guys want email, too, because we have a whole email side of the platform. So, you know, you could do, because you can do email campaigns, too, from inside the platform. You, uh, you know, just... If you, we added email, then it's going to cost us a little bit more. But basically, you know, the email side is really slick. You can easily create template emails, um, you know, send out emails to your email databases. Do you guys do email at all now? Uh, not in that format, no. Yeah. I mean, you can start building email databases as well, and you can start sending out emails if you wanted to. If you wanted that, it's here. Um, it just be in, you know, so... Uh, it's basically $10 a month per location or per truck or per instance of the platform, right? Okay. And mm -hmm. then it's just plus usage. So it's, you know, it's really inexpensive. And that's for the text campaign? Or yeah. Is that the, okay. Yeah, and then if you wanted to email too, it's just an extra five bucks. Okay. All right, so I'm totally confused. So you got 1.5 cents for texting, and then you got $10 a month for email. And is there additional charge per email? No. Yeah, so, so it's $10. It's $10 a month. $10 a month to have the texting platform that includes a free mobile website app for each person, right? So the $10 covers, you know, as many campaigns as you want, as many uh, pages on your mobile website app. Everybody's got their own mobile website app. They can customize it. 
everybody logs in. They only see their campaigns. They don't see anybody else's. Um, if they want email too, it's an additional $5, so it's $15 a month. And then the, <clears throat> and that includes <clears throat> everything, but then your text message is 1.5 cents per text and your email is 0 0.0075 or three quarters of a penny per email. Or seven dollars per thousand, if you want to look at it that way. Have you got this somewhere in your presentation, or is there something that you're going to send us an email? Yeah, I, I'll I'll just send you. I mean, I can send yeah. you a summary of that. I think it, I think it's going to be needed because they they got a couple guys on here that aren't real good with all this stuff. Sure. Which. I have to be one of So I was just wondering, I guess, for the email side, is that something they put in on the tech side? Is do like, I guess tech side when they text in the two seven two seven does it say, you know I guess how are you acquiring their emails? Well people acquire emails Yeah, people acquire emails a lot of different ways. Um, you know, sometimes they do it off their website, sometimes they have you know, fishbowl type marketing campaigns where, yeah, you know, yeah. if you if you drop your business That's card in in here, you know, um, you know, there's a lot of different ways that people do it. You can do it from the text messaging piece, and I can explain that real quick. So imagine you get a text message for your uh, standing there at the at the uh, trailer, yeah. and that text message says, uh, you know. Click here, and you can be entered for a chance to win, you know, free Italian ice for a year. And they click the link. It takes them to a page where they put in their email address. And then when they we capture that email address, and then you can use those email addresses. Yeah. Right. Oh, I like that. Yeah, so that's cool too. So then you're capturing, you know, text and email. Yep. Anything that we can do, Rob, that doesn't require the person at the window serving, yeah. you know, taking orders and collecting money, anything that we can do that doesn't bog them down and have to do that is a plus. Right. And, you know, so you guys may be more along the lines of, you know, the tablets work really great, especially for events and stuff. If you've got somebody that could stand there, even outside the trailer, with a tablet as people are waiting in line and have them type their mobile number in, right? That works really great. And it just gets a lot of people. If you, but you certainly can just put up a sign, you know, and if you just put up a yeah. sign, the problem with the sign is you may only get, you know, five people a day, right? Um, where a tablet, you're getting 35 people a day or more. So, you know, if you make the tablet a part of what they're doing, you know, they take the order and then hand the person the tablet, and it's part of the process. It wouldn't really bog you down too much, but you know, it just kind of depends. So they could be doing the tablet while you're they're waiting for their order to be served. Yeah, you could even maybe mount the tablet, you know, right by the window, right, you know, right there, and then you just then you just point at it and say, "Hey, type your mobile number in there. You'll get a coupon for next time." Yeah. Okay. That'd probably be a pretty good one to capture. You know, if all they had to do was say it every time, then, and they don't have to hand it, you know, or whatever, worry about it walking off or anything else, and it's kind of connected, mm -hmm. that'd be pretty cool. Cool. Okay, I think everybody... Is that that I don't know the technical name for this little square squiggly design thing that you see everywhere, where you take a picture of it with your phone. You are good. The trailer or the truck is that any way to, to capture a phone number? Yeah, you without? can. I just don't. I don't recommend them very often um, because more people know how to text than know what to do with those QR codes. You know, like right now, if I said scan this QR code. How many of you would know how to do it? You know, not me. 
I wouldn't know either, to be honest with you, but I just thought I would ask. I mean, because you see yeah. him everywhere. You do see him. It could be an additional option for those that do know how to do it, but, you know, like you say, it, it why, why couldn't you do both? You can. Yeah. Here's an example of one that's got both, right? Free smoothie, the 72727, or scan here. And you can certainly put that on your truck or your trailer or whatever. Ooh. They don't have to type anything in at that point. Correct. Yeah. But they have to have they have to know how to do it and know what it is. And you just from my experience, and we work with, you know, thousands and thousands of locations, if they just do a QR code alone, they don't get very much response. Ooh. My grandkids know how to do it. <laughs> I like I like the texting of the name, at least, because then you could do, like, repeat you 5280 or something, and that, you know, and then, you know, have that on there, and people will be like, oh, yeah, I want to join the club, you know, and then, like you said, you can kind of change it up for the area and uh, get them to uh, put that code in. Yeah, I mean, you can always do both, so it's, you know, just kind of up to you guys what you want to do. But we generate these for you. It's real easy. Yeah. I like the club idea, just to make it as an organization, join the club for free or something. The yeah. problem with the problem with a club, this is a club, but the problem with saying it's a club is you don't have very many people do it. It this works a lot. This works a lot better. I mean, it is still a club, right? Yeah. It's, it's a text club, but if you say join our text club, text us word to this phone number and get a special discount, people don't do that. <laughs> I'm just telling you. <laughs> but, they, but they do this. Just give them, give them something off, you know, give them a dollar off or whatever. Yeah, the, the call to action is very important. You know, hey, get a free smoothie next time you come in. That works. Yeah. And you don't have to give away anything this time. And you can make this offer only valid for a couple weeks. But you got them in. And now you send them yeah. future offers, whatever you want. And even if they get this free smoothie offer or free Italian ice offer, they, uh, the, the, uh, it's a with purchase offer, right? So mm -hmm. you make enough money on the with purchase that it's okay if they come back. Who owns the database? Mm -hmm. We do all the work to get all these phone numbers and stuff into a database. Who owns it? Yeah, then I. Then I do, and I then I do, and I sell it off to other people. I'm just, I'm, I'm just. <laughs> it's yours. So we could take our database and walk away. Oh yeah, anytime you want. And it's all month to month, so. You could be so yeah. blunt about it, but that's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, yeah, no problem. I'm not worried about it. If you guys decide you don't like us next month, just quit. I won't even I won't, I won't even send you millions of text messages to your phone complaining about it. <laughs> Rod, can enough, you just I, can you I just kind of uh, when, when we get off the call here because I think everybody is is excited about the potential of it. Can you just kind of send a, a summary of the program and uh, and then we'll get together and decide how, when, and where, and we'll go from there. Yeah, could somebody uh, send me everybody's email real quick? It should be on the invitation, I think. Oh, yeah, I think it is. I've got it. I'll send it to everybody. Okay. And I'll send you guys this video, too, if you want to share it with somebody. And then, so how many franchises do you guys have? Or how many trucks or trailers? Basically, the, the van franchise or the mobile franchise is just beginning. And we have... 40 something odd franchises across the country who have been more event based and uh, probably a dozen or so of them have trailers and so forth but the van the mobile aspect of it is just uh, just getting rolling so it won't be any huge number up front but we expect it to grow uh yeah. you know, exponentially so yeah even those 40 event people or whatever i mean they could certainly utilize it in the capacity that we said you know, if they, yeah, because some of them are, you know, are uh, currently participating in Facebook type thing. You know, some of them are, are dabbling in the social media side of it who probably don't know about this service, and that'd be, 
you know, it's very affordable, very doable, and I think pretty comprehensive that would help them, no question. Yeah, so we could certainly do, you know, once you launch it, we say, hey, this is now what everybody's doing. You know, come to the educational webinar and learn about it, and we could do a big training with everybody on how to use it. Yeah. We can also we can also build a text message database of all your franchisees. So we put all those 40 people in a database and give you access to it. And so if you want to do a conference call or have a meeting or something, then you text everybody and tell them, here's the number to call in in five minutes. And then you have more people show up to the conference call. It works a lot better than email. Yeah. Uh, I have question. one more question. Um, if, if I'm utilizing this and then you have Brandon utilizing this over in, in Denver, who gets billed what? Do you do billing based on the where the person is using it, or has corporate got to divvy that up? I think it's um, a separate account, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we can do it as 40 separate accounts if you guys want to. Um, I'd probably have to maybe charge $5 more or something just because that's a lot more accounting and collections and everything else dealing with that many uh, versus, you know, if corporate's paying for it and then just, you know, deducting from the franchisees or whatever, then I could give kind of the bulk rate that I initially quoted. But, you know, because $10 an account is like 25% of what we would normally charge. Like normally this would be about 40 bucks to have a, 40 bucks a month to have an app, email, text messaging, all of that combined, right? To an individual But you're person. talking about for a single application, not for a franchise. That's what, that's the reason you're, you're all right. a discount, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So I'm giving like a big bulk. So discount. you're talking about instead of ten dollars, it would probably be fifteen dollars a month. Is that is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah. If I if I, if I had to if I had to bill everybody individually. Uh, is there a way? The in problem your that we would have would be we would have to collect from all of the franchisees and then you know which that. Uh, you know, how do we have the ability if they don't pay to cut them off? Where do we have the ability to cut them off? You quit. You quit selling them the uh, the their stuff. <laughs> 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 they have to pay. Okay. Them. Yeah. You know, well, with, that, with, with that in mind, if we were to do it all in all through the franchise, would there be some way that we could distinguish what areas that? You know, yeah. we need the bill. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And right, I mean, could those people individually that. could those people individually pay off their bill online, you know, just log into their account even off the Well everybody account. everybody individually we just automatically charge them. They're all they all set up their credit card and it just bills automatically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking was if everybody's account had their credit card on there then if I run a couple campaigns at one and a half cents a, a text or whatever, I mean, I rack up, I don't know, 50 bucks a month or 100 bucks a month, and it's paying me back. I don't mind my credit card being charged. I just I just don't want Frank having to dish out invoices every month. Correct. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon, you have a question? All right, guys, that that was great, in my opinion, If unless anybody else has any questions. I going to leave it at an hour and uh and if you'll follow up rob with you know a summary of the information then we'll get together and determine how when and where as i said before we can get this thing rolling okay. i just had one more question i guess and that was do you tie the texting into twitter at all i mean is there i mean i saw that you can share on facebook but i mean can you capture their twitter handles um, we don't do – I mean, you can share the coupons on Twitter. We have yeah. that ability. Um, we don't have, like, a Twitter database building component built into it. Um, but just like we do where we push people to Facebook, we can push people to Twitter if that's what you're interested in. Um, yeah. the, thing, the thing is about Twitter is it really does only reach about 8% of the population. <laughs> Uh, the, you know, our regular users, that's about eight out of a hundred, right? It's not very good. Um, so, you know, using your, you know, your really powerful SMS database to push Twitter is kind of like working backwards. Uh, okay. 
Then what about, I guess, through the website, like if I create my own little uh, online website thing and I send, they sign up and they get in there, I mean, I have so many people taking pictures of the stuff that I make them. And like, this looks so amazing. Is there a way to, if they if they join the club essentially and they're getting something for free or whatever, can I know? I mean, can they take a picture and then share that on Facebook or Twitter? Because uh, it seems like that would be something that I know my customers when they see them constantly taking pictures, they just don't they don't know what to tag or what to do. And I'm like, it would be great to capitalize. On yeah. Those so pictures. So like I showed you, one of the things that you can do is send them a text message, you know, five minutes after they purchase it or, you know, even immediately the second text message they get when they opt in says, take a, you know, this could actually say, take a picture of your, uh, you know, do a selfie with you and your uh, repeaties and paste it on our Facebook wall here and be entered for a chance to win. And, okay, you, get okay. the, and you get them the link. Now they, yeah. you know, go right, they paste it right on your Facebook page and their friends see it, so it's actually on their wall, but it's also on your wall. Oh, yeah, that'd be great because I just know it definitely helps. So, cool. All right. Hey, Rob, really good, I have one really last question. When you're talking about sending them something five minutes later, do you have the capability of setting it up to where it'll automatically do that so that oh, yeah. they don't individually have to five minutes later on every one of these go and – no, we would we would set it up. Yeah, we'd set it up to do automatically. Okay, well, I just wanted you to clarify that. That that's all an automatic deal. Yep. I mean, one more little question: Does your billing right. start when you actually someone logs in and and joins the club? Is that a billable text message or is that a freebie? And then we it only applies when we do a campaign. Well, the text in. Uh, when somebody texts in from a sign or whatever, that doesn't cost anything, but they get a text message back. And if they get two text messages, that's two text messages. So, yes, that's billable. Okay. So um, every text message that is sent from us to their phone counts as one. Roger that. You know, so if you did, you know, 30 in a day, you know, it's 1.5 cents, you know, per you know, per message times 30, you know, that's uh, 45 cents. So it's not like, you know, it's a lot of money per day or anything. I understand. We just need to, I just need to understand it so we can present it correctly. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Any other Hi, questions? Um, Thank you, yeah, Rob. I mean, I guess, Great presentation. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Brandon. You know, I was going to say, I mean, definitely thanks for your time. I just, uh, um, I know Frank would probably want me and Sarah kind of working to build like a template, you know, for what the, you know, like, kind of like what you had made, just to kind of take that and put a nice background and do stuff like that. So, I mean, um, you can just email me if you like, but I mean, just to, um, once we, we'll, you know, I'll talk to Frank, we'll figure that out, but. Yeah, we can um, certainly allow you guys to build the template, and then we'll just clone that template in for all the franchisees. Yeah, and then they, they can customize. Yep. Great oh. presentation, Rob. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. What's the uh, what's kind of your guys' ETA to get this get this launched? I'll send you the pricing today, and you know you uh, guys tell me how you want to do it. You know, to be honest with you, there's so many different things we're doing here all at one time. I, I can't give you an exact date, but I would hope that, you know, at least by the end of the month, if if not sooner, uh, we could start initiating it in Birmingham at least and get an understanding of how to operate it and so forth. And uh, So, yeah, maybe even sooner, maybe within a week, two weeks, but definitely by the end of the month. Okay. But if and when we, if and when they, the decision is made to go forward, Rob, then, you know, you would be more than willing to have another conference call with any of the franchisees that want to participate, and uh, you could do something like this for them. Is that correct? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. 
Cool. cool. Yeah. Anything I'd else, prefer, anybody? I'd prefer to do it in the group of, you know, 30 or 40 versus one at a time for sure. No, no, that's that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying in a in a conference call with, uh, yep. you know, 10, yeah. 15, 20, 30. And if we had the run. capability, if if we had the capability in that next call, then as we were able to uh, to bring on new people individually, maybe they could just see a uh, or you know see a copy of that call or a recording of the call if that were capable of doing that. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks last for call for alcohol. Time. Great job. We appreciate right. it. <laughs> I'm in for the alcohol. So. Just, uh, <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Rob. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye. Right, bye. Hello.